what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i know it has seriously been a hot minute since i've gotten a video up and since i filmed i feel like i've honestly just been super overwhelmed with having both of the kids home all summer long which has been a blast don't get me wrong it's just i feel like i'm wearing so many different hats and this has just kind of been put on the back burner but good news school has started maddie went back to school yesterday so yesterday was her very first day of first grade things at school seem to be a little bit more normal this year we were actually allowed to walk them into the building which was really fun we got to meet their teachers all the good things so she's so excited she had the best first day i'll pop some pictures up so you guys can see um she's so cute she wanted to wear nike which if you know maddie you know she's very girly she usually likes all things tutu sparkly um, but she wanted to wear nike because she said she wanted people to think she was a sporty girl so she looked very, very cute. I got so many comments on my Instagram saying that she looked like my twin, which I just love. But anyways, we're back to school. We're getting back into the swing of things. I actually wasn't gonna start vlogging until next week because Liam is still home. He starts preschool next week, so I will officially have a little bit more time on my hands to vlog and to get all the things done that I wanna get done. Um, but if you follow me over on Instagram, you also know that I have been very busy and very MIA because I started my own little small business selling graphic tees that I am hand making here at home and it's been so much fun. So, so I'm actually in my office now. I have my whole little setup here. I have the Cricut Maker 3 to make my t-shirts. I've absolutely been loving it and I also have their Easy Press. I have the largest one and their mini. Um, it is such a mess in here. There's a bunch of t-shirts over there but this is it. This is my little my little situation I've got going on um, and it's been really fun. So if you want to go follow my little adventure over on Instagram, it is Soul Shine Design Co. And you can shop everything through there. I will do, I'll show you guys some of the shirts that I've created. It's been, like I said, so much fun. Okay, so this is the guest room. I'm in my office right now slash guest room and this is my little setup. So I did go ahead and purchase the Cricut Maker 3. I'm honestly obsessed with thing, this thing. It is so cool and it works so well. I also got the Cricut Mini Press and the largest Easy Press that they have. And then I have some of my supplies down here, but as you can see, I'm like a disaster. I need to get some sort of shelving. I think that I'm gonna get, I don't even know, like I wish I could turn the kids' playroom into my little craft room. But I think I might get some sort of shelving on this wall to keep the t-shirts and all the things, but it's been so much fun. This is, this is where it happens. Pretty dang simple, but it's, it's been a lot of fun. So that is where I have been. I swear it's been taking up so much of my time, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but I'm ready to get back into a routine with vlogging and filming and all the things. So like I said, I was not going to film until next week. So it is like, what is it? It's almost one o'clock. I just was having the urge to pick up the camera and film and get a video up for you guys. So I'm just gonna take you along through the rest of my day. I've already been to Target. I've already got my workout done. I did a 5.30 a.m. workout. Um, you guys know like a couple days a week I do a morning workout worship group with some of my neighborhood girlfriends. We went to Target and got groceries for the week. We've been to the park. But now I feel like I have so many house chores to catch up on. I have mounds and mounds of laundry I need to pick up. You guys have seen my office is a mess. So I figured I would just take you guys along for the day and you guys can hopefully get a little bit of motivation watching me get everything done. What are you doing? Do you need to go potty? Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Come here, come here. You're so sweet. You're such a good dog. Okay, we're gonna take Sunny potty and then we're gonna get stuff done. <laughs> okay, welcome to my laundry situation. <laughs> I'm washing the kids' bedding today. These are clean. So all of this needs to get folded and put away. Let's find out what's in here. So we have a laundry chute from the master down to the laundry room. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, <laughs> so those all need to be washed. This needs to be folded and these need to be washed and then I need to make beds. Trying to make up your mind like you need more time You've already spent most of mine Even when your words fail, you try to keep it light You realize I'm done right but you can be honest I don't appreciate your lies It's about damn time you get it right 
Okay, I am done with some of my laundry. I still have a ton to do. And we're taking a little break. I have Liam in the back seat. You can probably hear his iPad. But we're going into Bed Bath & Beyond because I hate my bedding on my bed. We have a duvet cover and that's what I hate. I seriously cannot stand duvet covers. I know they're what's cute, they're what's in for bedding, but it makes me a lunatic and the insert inside of it, the down comforter, like doesn't even fit inside of the duvet. So we're going to Bed Bath & Beyond in Target and TJ Maxx to see if we can find something that won't make me crazy. I'm just so over it. I also wanna run in TJ Maxx. I need to get random things like a laundry basket for Liam's room. His is um, like a basket-y material and it's like falling apart. And I need to get some organizational stuff for underneath my bathroom vanity. It is the biggest hot mess you ever saw. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we will be able to find something. If not, I'll just have to order something online, but let's get to shopping. Oh my gosh. It is so hot outside. It's my car says it's a hundred degrees. What is it really? I just turned it on. Sorry if you can hear the air. It's 93 degrees outside. I'm roasting and I'm in like long leggings, which is really dumb. But I had success at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got a comforter that looks just like my linen uh, duvet cover, but it's a comforter. I'm really hoping it holds up when you wash it. But if not, Bed Bath & Beyond is like the best with returns. I feel like they're like Costco. <laughs> so I got that and then I got some sheets as well, um, just because I need another pair of sheets. Also, I'm like a broken record talking about this on <laughs> my Instagram, but I just got this, like they call it a belt bag from Lululemon. And I swear it's changed my life. I'm obsessed with this thing. It's so easy to just throw on when you're running errands. Um, and I feel like it's gonna be so handy when I like take the dog on a walk. I can put some treats in there, hold my phone in there. That way I'm like hands-free with the leash. I'm so had to share this with you guys because I'm obsessed. I swear I've had it for a week and it's changed my life. I will link it down below. I also got this headband from Lulu and I'm quite obsessed. Um, it has a cute little knot up here. I look so gross today, but it's fine. And I think it comes in like four other colors and this belt bag comes in tons of colors. So if you want one that's, I just got black cause it's super neutral, but they have really, really fun colors in this belt bag. So I'd love to get like another one just in a fun color. Anyways, we're gonna head back home. Maddie gets off the bus in one hour. So I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie and then finish folding all of my laundry and switch everything over. All right, home from Bed Bath & Beyond, and this is what I picked up. So I got the organic cotton sheets, the king set, and then this is the comforter, and it literally looks just like this. It's a linen comforter, which is exactly what my duvet looked like. Very excited. I'm hoping it washes well, so we'll see, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my bed together, and we will see how it fits. Okay, so I need to wash these. I don't know what I'm thinking. They smell super funky, like they've just been in packaging. So, and of course I wanna wash the sheets first anyway, but I wanna make sure that they fit my bed good because I swear my sheets before did not fit right. Um, so before I wash them and like go through the hassle of trying to return them after that, I'm gonna make sure this bottom sheet just fits good. And then I will throw these in the wash along with the other 5,000 loads that I need to do. Okay, sorry to have you guys on here crooked. Okay, there's the comforter. I'm super happy with it. It fits the bed perfectly. And it looks exactly like my duvet from West Elm. You're all crooked. It looks exactly like my duvet from West Elm, but it's a comforter. So we'll see how we like it. I'll keep you updated. I'll link it down below in case you're just like me and you're a weirdo and you cannot stand duvet covers. Um, what's up you guys? Okay, it's obviously the next day. I did not end up picking up my camera because I got a message that Maddie had danced and I literally had no idea. She recently made the comp team at her dance studio and tonight was like where they're learning all the, or last night was when they were learning all the choreography and I read the schedule completely wrong. I thought it was next week. So I'm so glad. <laughs> 
that I didn't miss it. Um, so we were like rushing out the door, getting everyone off to dance. We ended up being at the studio for a while. And then when I got home, I was feeling pretty sick from our COVID shot or from my COVID shot. And I was just like chills, body aches, all that fun stuff. So I went to bed as soon as the kids went to bed as well. So I figured I would just resume this vlog going into today. We just got Maddie onto the bus and now Liam and I are gonna go to the gym so I can get my workout in. We're also gonna go by Dick's Sporting Goods because he has soccer practice tonight and he needs shin guards. So we're gonna go do that and I will catch up with you soon. Okay, we're home from running to Dick's Sporting Goods. We did not end up going to the gym because Liam really didn't want to go and I just figured I can work out at home. So I need to work out, but first I'm gonna make lunch and then I've been just picking up the house. I also made three shirts that I need to package and ship out. So I figured I'd show you guys. They're actually not shirts, they're crewnecks. Um, and I came out with a few like football inspired <laughs> um, items. So I figured I'd show you guys which ones I made and yeah. That's basically all we've been doing. Okay, so I made these game day crew necks. I think they're so cute, especially for us. We're Chiefs fans, so I love the red. It's showing up really bright on the screen, I feel like, but it's more of like a burgundy almost. So super simple, but so cute. They are the Comfort Wash brand. All of my tees so far have been the Comfort Wash crew necks and the Comfort Colors t-shirts and long sleeves and tank tops. Um, so I made two of those today for some customers. And then this one is falls out, balls out. I actually had someone send this to me and ask if I could create it. And then I had a few other people who also wanted to order it. So just made those using my Cricut. I'm gonna go ahead and package those up and then get those shipped. But you know what? Let me show you a few other designs while we're in here. Okay, so we have this Comfort Colors tank. It says boat waves, sun rays, lake days. You guys know I live on a lake and I absolutely love this over swimsuits. It's so, so cute. I've made a ton of those for girls in my neighborhood. Um, and then we have this caffeine and kindness t-shirt. Love, so, so cute. And then focus on the good. I'm like loving the like 70s vibes, smiley face trend. So I created this little guy. Love this like banana color. I think it's so cute. And then one of my favorites, the All Good Days crew neck. You guys, these sweatshirts and t-shirts, I can't even tell you how soft they are. And then lastly, a sun-kissed long sleeve tee. And that's pretty much it so far. I've also created another one that's on my Instagram. I'll put a little picture here so you guys can see it. But again, I will link this down below so you guys can check it out. Okay, making a smoothie for lunch for Liam and I. So I'm doubling up my recipe, but I've been craving like tropical smoothies since it's summertime. So I do just organic pure, like nothing in this but oranges. As orange juice is the base. So I usually do like eight ounces for one. So I'll do 16 ounces for two, and then I do some strawberries. I don't measure, I just kind of guess. Strawberries, mangoes, And then peaches, oh my gosh, I've been loving peaches in my smoothie. And I'll usually, uh, I'll usually add spinach in here, but I'm all out. And then I'll add a banana, which usually I do a frozen banana. <laughs> He's standing on a soccer ball. By the way, I don't remember if I said, but we went to Dick's and they had literally nothing. Like they had no shin guards, no soccer. He, had, he got the last soccer ball, which he did not even need. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to figure out where else I can get it by Saturday. Because Maddie and Liam both have their first soccer game on Saturday, which I'm excited for. And then I just add my protein powder. This is the Vanilla Shakeology, which I'm spilling everywhere. And that's it, I'm gonna blend it up and we're gonna go outside and enjoy this. Does that sound good? I'm gonna taste it. Do you wanna go outside and, and um, drink our smoothies? I just tasted that. Is it good? Mm. Probably not. It is. Usually you want to blend it up or shake it up. The guys are here mowing the lawn, so it's kind of loud, but this taste, I don't know if you guys have Jamba Juice where you are. We actually do not have it here, but I, where I grew up in California, my mom used to take me to Jamba Juice, I feel like, Mommy. every day after soccer practice. Mama, he's even cutting our bushes. Good. Um, my mom used to take me to Jamba Juice, and I remember I'd always order the orange appeal, and that's what this tastes like. It's so good.
Okay, Liam is relaxing, doing some quiet time. He's playing games on the iPad. I think I'm gonna start with the Peloton. I have not worked out at home all summer pretty much because I signed up for a summer gym membership just because it's like something to do for us during the day and it's hard for me to get my workout done at home with the dog and both kids. It's doable, but it's just easier to do it at the gym. So today, since Liam didn't want to, I'm gonna hop on the Peloton, which um, maybe just like 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna do Week two, day one of 21 Day Fix. I've been in such a fitness rut, you have no idea. I feel like I just have been so off track. So I started back with 21 Day Fix, which is the very first program that I ever did on Beachbody On Demand, like five years, actually longer than that, like six years ago. And it's what made me fall in love with working out at home. So I'm gonna do that, or I've been doing that this past week and I've been loving it. And um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna get it done and I'll check back with you when I'm finished. Okay, workout's done. I ended up working out with Scooter because he got home from work and now I'm having a snack. I'm gonna turn this around and show you guys what I'm gonna have. I've never had it before, but I saw it on Kale Couture's Instagram and she says it's so good and it's like a really low calorie, delicious snack and I happen to have all the ingredients on hand, so let me show you. Okay, so you need Mama Lupe's low carb tortillas. I use these all the time, I love them. They're only 70 calories for one whole tortilla and then laughing cow cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna spread this around, sprinkle it with the seasoning and then fold it up like a quesadilla and pop it in the microwave for like, I don't know, 15 seconds and I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay. Just got this bad boy out of the microwave and it's really hot. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, why don't you just put some in a bowl for yourself? such a good little easy delicious snack highly recommend I've been dying to get to the chiropractor for like weeks so I made an appointment and I need to leave in a few minutes I'm so excited I need to go back okay home from the chiropractor it felt so good I love when they do the trigger points oh my gosh it feels so good but I am going to make dinner it is five o'clock. Liam has soccer practice at 6.30. I wasn't able to go to his first practice because Maddie and him had practice at the same time and it got switched, so that's good. So I get to go to his practice. I'll probably help out, I'm sure. And we need to eat before we go because it's at 6.30. They made it later today because of the heat. It's like 90 something degrees outside. So long story short, I'm making dinner right now and we are making a healthy, pad thai um, in the Instapot, or not Instapot, I have a Ninja Foodie, I'll show you guys what I have. It is such a yummy, easy meal, so I'll show you guys how to make it. It's the bomb. We had it for the first time a couple weeks ago, and it's on our weekly rotation. So, I'm gonna get all the ingredients ready, and I will actually just link the recipe down below. Um, I found it on Pinterest, which is where I find like all of my recipes. I did substitute a few things to make it a little bit healthier, so I'll let you guys know which substitutions I made. But yeah, let's get to cooking. Okay, here's the pressure cooker that I have. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's a pressure cooker, it's a air fryer, it's a crock pot. You can do literally everything in this. And I use it, honestly, daily, um, sometimes multiple times a day. It's worth every single penny. I feel like this is out of focus. There we go. I use this so much that it's worth every single penny. I'll link the exact one that I have down below. If you don't have a pressure cooker or if you have been wanting a pressure cooker and an air fryer, I highly recommend this product because they're also such big appliances. It's so nice to have, you know, like everything in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my dinner, but I wanted to show this to you guys if you've never heard of it, if you've never seen it, or if you've been in the market for a crock pot Instapot or air fryer. Check this guy out, I'm obsessed. Okay, so here's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. I had most of this on hand, so once you buy it once, you'll have it for a long time, but you need the rice noodles. I've heard this brand is really good. I haven't used this one before. Um, the other ones didn't cook 
like super soft. So I'm hoping I really like these. I'll keep you posted. You're gonna need chicken broth. Here's one of the substitutions I made. It called for soy sauce and I used liquid aminos instead. It tastes exactly like it in my opinion. Cilantro, green onions, peanut butter. You could definitely get a healthier peanut butter, but that's what my kids love, so that's what we have. Um, and then my other substitution that I made was coconut sugar instead of brown sugar. And then we need chicken breasts, red pepper flakes, sesame oil, rice vinegar, and then carrots. Okay, so first up, you're gonna wanna dice up your carrots, green onions, and your chicken breast. Sorry if you don't like raw chicken. And you're gonna add these three ingredients into your Instapot. Okay, next you're gonna whisk together those like liquidy ingredients with the coconut sugar, the peanut butter. Um, you're also gonna add garlic, I forgot to mention that. And then you are going to dump this over the chicken, carrots, and all that good stuff, okay? So there's what that looks like. Okay, so next you're gonna add the chicken broth, just one cup chicken broth, and stir it really well. And then you're gonna put the lid on and pressure cook on high for seven minutes. I'm just trying to get by. I don't know how you do it. Trying to keep you up my mind. Okay, I did a quick release on the Instapot or the pressure cooker and I'm gonna add eight ounces of rice noodles. So I'm gonna take the lid off, stir in the rice noodles and then put the lid back on for 10 minutes and it should be done. Okay, and just to keep it real, because my kids are not gonna eat this, I actually planned on having them try it but they have not stopped complaining about the smell of it since I started cooking. So I'm like, I don't feel like even dealing with it tonight. So they are just having the too good Greek vanilla yogurt a corn dog and watermelon. So that's what's for dinner for the kiddos. I'm gonna go ahead and get them fed. This is almost done and then we're heading to soccer practice. Okay, how delicious does this look? So excited to eat. All the chicken and carrots are kinda at the bottom, but you guys, it's so good. And then we're gonna put some cilantro and green onions on top and that is dinner. Okay, we're home from soccer. I just took a shower. I have my hair in this clip. I wanted to show you guys these. You've probably seen them, I feel like, on Instagram but it's these hair clips and I'm seriously obsessed. They're from Amazon. I will link them down below. You guys are so good. Let me show you this way so you can see kind of what they look like. Um, but I am obsessed. I'm loving having these big claw clips to put my hair up. So super, super cute love. You guys need them. I think it's like 12 bucks and I love that they're like matte. I don't know, they just hold really well. I just got the kids to bed and I think we're just gonna call it a night. End the vlog here. We've been, I don't know why my camera isn't focusing. We have been watching a show on Netflix. It's a, what the heck is it called? All American. It's called All American on Netflix. It's like a football kind of show and we've been loving it. So I think we're gonna hop in bed, watch an episode of that and then call it a night. But hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and yesterday's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I will be posting videos a lot more consistently starting next week as soon as both kids are in school. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.